Okay, let's just quiet ourselves before the Lord and then uh, we just pray and ask the Lord for His presence and for His uh, anointing to let this morning accomplish His purpose. Mm. Our Father, we are so thankful that we can come together with this privilege to come before your throne. As your word say that we can come to your throne with confidence and boldness and receive help uh, for in, uh, in times of need. But this morning we come before you rejoicing because of this privilege to come before you and know that we are all be a, uh, surely acceptable by you through the blood of Jesus, through the cleansing blood of Jesus and through the love of God. And this morning, Father God, as we come before you, we thank you. Uh, we thank you that you will join our hearts together, unite us in just one voice to glorify your name. Tonight, our hearts so are together in one voice. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna spend time before you, seeking your face and allow your will to be done, your purpose to be achieved. And we thank you, Father God, for the blood of Jesus that will cleanse us, that will cover us, Father God. We thank you that you will declare that we are under the shadow of your wind, that you will continue to cover us and protect us. That we are also thank you, Father God, we are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. So as we come before you to rejoice before for you at the same time, Father God, sitting with Christ in the heavenly places, we're going to exercise the authority. So exercise, Father God, the authority they have given to us in the name of Jesus, that we will, this morning, will rule and reign, Father God, through Christ. That your word will be, uh, that your word will take, uh, take its power, that your word will rule over, because your word is authority and power and final, and nobody can receive your word because you will carry the absolute authority and power and you will never change but you will continue to accomplish what he has said and this morning as we come before you we thank you for the promises you have given to us for the authority for the god that you have placed in our hand through the name of jesus and through the power of the holy spirit this morning let your will be done your purpose be achieved and then we thank you father god that you will be with us as we go through this process that we invite the holy spirit to just as we open our heart to god invite the holy spirit to speak to through us and uh, and we invite the Holy Spirit to just minister through us and cause your name to be exalted and glorified. Cause the nation to bow before you and bend the knees before you. And nobody can receive your word with authority and power. Father God, that you reign supreme for you are the supreme God. That you are our Lord and Savior and you are our uh, God of the universe. You are you are the almighty God, the only presence, the only power, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, this morning. We rejoice to have this, uh, this privilege to be, just be, to be used of you as the instruments of your grace, instruments of your authority, instruments of your power. This morning, let your name be exalted once more. Hallelujah. Let us, Father God, once again rejoice in this uh, partnership with you, Father God, as we surrender ourselves and uh, at the feet of Jesus as we uh, as we move in obey and in obedience and in trust. Let your name be exalted and glorified. Let everybody be edified, but let the nation bow before you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our refuge and our strength, an ever present help in trouble. So we shall not fear, although the earth gave faith, but our God is come behold. Let's behold the word of our God and declare that all nations at his faith. He breaks the bow, ends the spear, and tells the wars to cease. Almighty oh, one of Israel, you are on our side. We walk by faith in God who burns the chariots with fire. Lord of hosts, here we are. Lord of hosts, you lead us, lead us in the fire. Oh God of 
Jacob fierce and brave, you lift your voice to speak. The earth it bows and all the mountains move into the sea. Oh Lord, you know the hearts of men and still you let them live. Oh God, who makes the mountains melt, come wrestle us and win.
loser if you dare to win the fight. When the dark clouds come and the lightning strikes, you've got to stand and fight. When the evil wind twists your world, you've got to hold on tight. And the best way to get back on your feet is to get down on your knees. Always a threat in disguise. His daughter can burn terrible surprise. Destroyer can pull you in, turning you upside down. But love is the greatest armor to endure and win the fight. When the dark clouds come and the light. Strikes, you've got to stand and fight. When the evil wind twists your world, you've got to hold on tight. And the best way to get back on your feet is to get down on your knees. And the best way to get back on your feet is to get down on your knees. Ivan, you want to pray now? Yeah, Father God, we thank you, Lord, for uh, bringing us together, assembling us together as kings and priests, Lord. Today we stand in unity, Lord, to just release uh, the prophetic proclamation, Lord, uh, that uh, all walls of oppression has fallen, Lord, and, and the schemes of the enemy has been destroyed, Lord, even okay. as we uh, sound the sofa in prophetic declaration, Lord, uh, that the voice of God shall impact the spiritual realm, Lord. And the enemy shall, which shall flee and scatter in seven different directions, Lord. Amen. We thank you. We praise you in Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 Bye-bye. <laughs> 
Bate logo. Thank you. 
Just so, uh, hey. Hey. Wei. Yes, Pai Ding. We pass the time over Hi, to you. Hi, I just 